Are you recording this? Hey, good evening everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is High Yield Dividend Warriors. We're the commands and all we talk about is high yield dividends. How to make money. That's all we want to talk about. I mean, there's many, many other subjects. Yeah, we are extremely biased toward this conversation. Uh, you should be. If you're going to do investment, you should be biased. And uh, because if we if we were talking about if we are a comic books fan, we, we should be talking about comic books. If we're a baseball card fan, we should be talking about baseball card. And all we talk about is baseball card. But no, we're we're high yield dividends warriors. We we're, we're trying to make money, get rich through high yield dividends, and that's what we want to do, and that's what we want to talk about. So yeah. Uh, so two accountants just asked me the first question. Said, "How are you tonight?" Oh my God, I am so excited, so happy. The reason why I'm so excited is that I, I'm doing multicasting broadcast for the first time in a long time. I used to do this back in the day when I was playing video games. So when I was playing video game, broadcasting game, I used to broadcast in Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, everything everything and anything out there. But then I should stop because and then I start talking about high yield, uh, about investment. When I talk about investment, you don't really need to do multicasting. But one thing I never done is stream in, in X. So since ever since ever since Elon bought this X, uh, now it make me want to stream. I, 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 you know, I'm part of the blue check mark now. It's pretty cool. I, you know, and uh, and so now I'm broadcasting in X. And on Sunday I'm gonna broadcast in Facebook and Twitch also. I'm gonna I'm gonna set that account up. I used to do that back in the day and it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing multicasting broadcast. It's not cheap by the way, but those who the those who want to go into broadcasting, that's not a cheap endeavor because you're paying over a hundred something dollars a month. Not not a year, a month. <laughs> so <laughs> so, yeah. so uh so be prepared for that if you uh, uh all right, yeah. So one of the questions people ask me all the time, what is that music in the background? That is 21 K-pop group, 2NE1. Let me just, and the name of the song is Go Away, right? 2NE1, Go Away. I do not recommend you play this music in the background because you're gonna get demonetized because the 21 is a very popular, it's one of the most popular K-pop group in the world. And it's also one of the most popular song in the world. This song right here in the background. So, yeah. So if you play this song, you pretty much gonna get demonetized. Uh, do I care about it? No, not really. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I don't care about it because why? I keep telling people all the time. Um, I'm gonna get rich not because of YouTube, not because of X, not because of streaming and stuff like that. I'm gonna get rich because of my portfolio. I am determined to go that route. Uh, I'm determined to make money this way because I want to get successful in this because this is the money I have to live in. I'm not planning to make YouTube video five, ten years from now. I'm not planning to make YouTube video when I'm traveling on vacation. I want to generate passive income and this is it. That, that link is to Discord. I'm sending a link to Discord if you want to join the conversation. Yeah. If you want to join the conversation. All right. Yeah, this is how I want to get rich. All right, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this music here. I'm gonna switch over to a different type of music. So it's uh, it's more chill, more easier, and it's a better tune. All right, that's my intro music. And uh All right, good. See you later, Minzy, CL, Sandra Park. Yeah, good music though. I love, I love them. And now I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play Lofty. Now I, I, you know, some people don't like the music in the background. It annoyed them. Uh, but I just want to tell you that the music in the background is what, um, is what give me motivation to do these kind of things because I came from gaming platform so when you play a video game you have music they have techno music and all that stuff and in Twitch when people give give you money there's actual music and light and all that stuff come on in Twitch it's fun like Twitch when people give you uh, coin they go ding 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 and you see coin dropping everywhere 
you see money coming in and it, it's it's a lot of fun and then you see and a lot of a lot of the stream and they start dancing they start doing all kinds of stuff you know uh but i don't do that i just i just say hey thanks i appreciate it man thanks for the coin but there's people out there that that start dancing you know to techno music um if you watch any of the twitch girl yeah you you give them coin they do some other stuff it's, it's crazy man twitch is twitch is no longer family friendly man before that's where you go play video game you want to watch minecraft you want all that stuff it, it's fun i used to watch a lot of halo uh but then and then it just it just now it's crazy it's just crazy now i i i, I can't even i can't even recommend anyone to go watch twitch now you know but that's my plan. I'm planning to do broadcasting on Twitch because that's the world I came in. It's a lot of fun. I right. uh, so yeah, I'm I'm doing live broadcasting and and um, now I don't know if X people can actually communicate with me. I'm gonna see if I can switch over to X real quick and see if anybody willing to talk to me. So how do I see chat and Twitch? I guess not. <laughs> All right, let me let me type something in Twitch. Uh, good evening. And I'm going to post uh, join Discord to join the conversation. Right, I'm going to click uh, I just post something in Twitch there right there. Uh, I'm not on Twitch, uh, Twitter and uh, an X or Twitter X or whatever you want to call it, it's Twitter. Um, so hey, uh, for all those who's watching me on on Twitter or X, uh, welcome. Hey, welcome to the community. Uh, I'm I'm proud of you guys. I'm glad because you know we're talking about high yield dividends. We're gonna talk about how to make money, how I make money, not you know, oh how we. Later on in the show, we're gonna look at member portfolio. These are the members in 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 my in our community, and uh, and we're gonna talk about their portfolio. You're gonna some of you are gonna be very surprised. And what you're gonna find out, we're gonna have a range of spectrum. There's some people with a lot of money, and some people just starting out. And you know, our YouTube channel, our show, our community focus mostly on new investor, brand new investor, hardworking people who's trying to figure out how to have backup plan for their plan. And and we're using high yield dividends to, as a, as their backup plan, essentially to generate income, not not for FIRE. A lot of people keep thinking we're part of the FIRE community, financial independent, retire early. No, these are hardworking people that may not have a 401k. Some of them are immigrants. Some of them can't even speak English. Some of them just came to the United States and they are trying to figure out how to make money and get, you know, so they can get out of the, out of the situation they're in. Imagine you a dishwasher at a Chinese restaurant. Imagine you're a forklift operator in, at Walmart. Imagine you're a, sh a shopping cart at, at, at a grocery store somewhere. Imagine you work at a railroad track. Imagine you uh, work on a roof or a bus driver or, or a substitute teacher. Um, just imagine all this job that barely pay you $30,000 a year. And they don't even have a 401k plan. They don't even have life insurance. They don't have anything. If they get injured or... They, they don't get paid. Imagine you're a cleaner at a parking lot. Every single person I just mentioned here, they are now Discord right now. Let me double check that. I'm, I'm having a look at Discord. I want to make sure. Uh, is uh, is the parking lot guy here, the cleaner? <laughs> the, is he in? We have truck driver. We have a lot of truck driver. A lot of truck driver follow us. All right? um, yeah, for a reason. Because... Because we do long format show and they, they just sit there and watch and listen to drive. Yeah. Uh, Michael Anthony said, SoFi CEO was on Kramer's show last night, which he said going to save on interest rate, which will save over 16 million interest. All right. I have no idea what that mean. Uh, I'll come back. We'll come back and talk about that, Michael Anthony. Uh, yeah, so... You know, this show is, is that uh, you've got a lot of people and uh, and you don't have to subscribe. There's no e-guy. There's no nothing. Uh, the only reason why I have this a membership is essentially to hide my uh, my my travel food. Be before my YouTube channel used to be food, travel and all that stuff. I just moved that to the member. That's all of it. I just move 
the food, travel, uh, you know, uh, music, culture, and all that stuff to the members if you want to know about my personal life. And but it had nothing to do with investment. And essentially, that's where my friends and family hang out. You know, they just hang out there. And uh, but this community, it's free. And and all we talk about is high yield dividends or dividends to generate income. Uh, it's very simple. And and there's you don't have to subscribe. There's no class. There's nothing. Uh, I'm not an expert. Um, none of us an expert here. Uh, where we where we learn from each other is the conversation. The conversation is how we learn what to do with our our money. And so the collective effort is is what driving us forward. And um, I never went to school for this stuff. I never worked. Just think about this. I uh, Rex Shear invite me to New York. All right. I, I was talking to the executive there, and I said, I don't even have a suit, dude. And he's like, and I told him, I said, don't worry about it. I mean, I, I make pretty good money. I, I, I'm going to go buy a suit. I don't even have a suit. Isn't that crazy? Uh, yeah, I don't even have a business suit. So, yeah, because I never work in that environment. Why would I need to buy a business suit? So, uh, so now, now I'm going to get a suit. I'm going to show up and uh, <laughs> look at least presentable. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm 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 very happy, uh, you know, uh, with my portfolio and my journey. I started my journey in January in 2023, and it's been an amazing, an amazing journey. All right, there's there's two topics I want to talk about, and then we're gonna to transition to the member portfolio. How do you become a member? Where do we hang out? Where does the Khmer people hang out? We hang out in Discord. That's why we use Discord because Discord we can exchange. Files, photo, videos, we can talk and there's a forum. So that's where we all hang out. We hang out in Discord. So click on the link and you can come to Discord. And or you can come to my YouTube channel and click on this link right here. And that will take you to Discord. And that's where we hang out. Right? <laughs> and uh, and so if you want to join us. And there's no membership. There's no rule. When you come into Discord, you're going to re realize real quickly it's open. We have no leaders. We have, no, we have moderators. We have a lot of moderators. Our Discord is heavily moderated. We have probably more moderated than any other Discord combined, and and people getting banned left and right. Not I, sometimes I don't even know who who they what happened to them. They just I'm talking to them all of a sudden they disappear. Like what happened? Uh, so yeah, we have we're heavily moderated. Uh, it's good because we want to focus on high yield dividends. If you talk about anything else other than high yield dividends, we're probably going to ask you to leave or we're just going to ban you if you don't leave. You know, so one way or the other, and. Uh, so one of the first topic I want to talk about is uh, yield max customer. Um, like who is yield max customer? I, I don't, I'm at the point like I don't know who yield max customer is because when I first start out this journey, uh, all these high yield like rec share, yield max, defiance, when I first start off, I thought, I thought their customer was institution. Like, you know, I don't know, you know, hedge funds, people, uh, you know, teacher unions, you know, police union, city, state, you know, pension plan. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking that, but then somewhere down the line, somebody educate me on, on option trading. They're like, no, hedge fund manager have their own option trading. They just do their own option trading. They don't need to pay J or, and, and yield max, you know, money. And then, and then they charge them 1% when they can do it themselves. So a lot of hedge fund managers do their own option trading, and a lot of these option trading were not open to the public, not open to the mass. So, yeah, so I didn't know that. I, I my, my speculation was when I first started this journey, I'm thinking, that's his customer. I'm like, why don't these people jump in it? The reason why I start asking that question, or the reason why I'm not talking about it is this. When you watch Jay interview, when you watch all his interview, uh, especially on the on the big network like MSNBC, Fox News, Business News, all those like Bloomberg type kind of channel, those news people they tend to talk, they they're very neutral when he's in the studio, but when they're not in the news, when they when he's not in the studio, they talk very negative. Like I have never. Let me just challenge you this perspective. I want to challenge the people in this way. If you have a clip. If you have a clip of any of those mainstream news that talk positive about high yield dividends, especially yield max, let me know. I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one. 
Like every one of them, every every talking head, they all talk about it's all very negative, very negative. Like they don't believe in it. Like they like it's anti. It's like it's crazy. But but when Jay's in the studio or when Sivian's in the studio, they tend to be like, oh yeah yeah it works. You know they 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 just hum and and, and nod and and smile and and they're polite. But when they're not in the studio, all those talking heads, all those mainstream. They talk very negative about all these fun. It's crazy, like all these so-called experts. They they talk very negative about them. Now, if if now, like I said, I don't watch all the news out there, but I haven't seen one. If you see one that talk about po- that that say something positive about yield max, or defiance, or you know, uh, any of these high yield dividends, let me know. But especially yield max. If you see anything on yield max, let me know. I I haven't seen that clip. I haven't seen that video. I would love to listen to that video that somebody talked about positive because therefore they align with me because we're 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 obviously all high yield dividends. Or obviously we're all fanboys, so it's a little bit different. So the the question I ask is who is Jay's customer? Who 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 is his customer? Who is Jill Mac customer? Does anybody know that answer? I'm I'm just curious on that. That anybody in Discord know that answer? Anybody want to speculate? Oh wow, there's a lot of message in Discord here. Let me click on Discord real quick. Uh, go ahead, guys. Just unmute your unmute your mic and just uh, un- unmute your mic and say it uh, and say what you need to say. I'm gonna jump in. Yep. Okay. I'm being heard. All right. Yeah, yeah. You're live. You're live right now, Don. Go ahead. All right. All right. Just a sound check, you know. Uh, so, hi. Good evening to everyone watching, listening. Um. So, you know. <laughs> well, you know, as far as what you're saying, uh, you know, the Yulmac has a uh, customer, like in a as far as the big uh, headline here, like, you know, I don't know who's the major customer here, but I just can say for myself, uh, you know, starting uh, investing in some of the yield net funds, uh, for example, Amazon, you know, I'm very, um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm dripping on AMZ right now. I feel very safe investing in it. I see that it's doing very well compared to the underlying, to the stock. Uh, compared, you know, I see it's pretty safe, even though it's not one of the highest uh, yielding ones comparing to the other ones. They are more volatile, of course, that creates more yield. But it's it, you know, it's still a high yield. And you know, for me, as someone who has a history with with Amazon. Which is, you know, the underline yeah. for M- M- I, I, was when I first uh, started. G- give me a second, Nico. You are you are you are open mic right now. Uh, K- Chaos, you're open mic. I'll give you a chance yeah. to talk, but let let Dawn say first. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'm trying to shorten stuff. Um, let let everyone else, uh, you know, uh, buzz in. Okay. Hey Don, uh, I, I appreciate so, it. Uh, I'm sorry. Do, do, do you do you want to say something more? I'm sorry. I apologize. Just cut you I, off. I just I'm I'm gonna say you know the, as for me being the for example you know the whole being yield my customer for example is mm-hmm. I find really cool uh, making high yield dividends on stocks and companies I really like from the first place for example which did which don't generate uh, dividends or high yield dividends in the first place, for example, Amazon. Okay. So if I can generate high yields from Amazon, um, which is a business I'm, I really believe in. So for me, you know, yeah, you, you're, you can call me. That's one example of why, you know, I can believe in, in what the, the fund is doing uh, as far as AMZ goes, AMZY. Okay. Uh, well- same goes for the other funds, I guess. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate Don. Uh, thank you. So the question I'm asking is, 
who is Jay's customer? And I start off in the opening monologue that Jay, you know, when I first start off, I thought Jay customer was was the institution, you know, like all these hedge fund manager. What I find now, it's really not. And then, and then when you watch the mainstream media, all they do is uh, all they do is talk bad about yield max and and high yield dividends. Uh, so it seemed like it seemed like out the customer is very very simple. I I, know, I, I think I know the answer because, uh, but I'm just curious what your take on that. Uh, who is J, who is yield max customer? Who when they talk about high yield dividends, who who are they talking to? Chaos. There, do you want to say something? Go ahead because you have your mic unmute. Chaos. Uh, Chaos, if you're talking, I we cannot hear you at all. All right. Uh, since we cannot hear you, go ahead and mute, mute your mic. And uh, and and Nico, is Nico in here? Uh, Nico just left. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to serve a mute uh, Chaos. Chaos, I just mute you. Um, okay, does, does anybody want to answer that question um, before? Who is... Who is J customer? Who is Yield Max customer? In Discord, um, good stuff. Keep chilling. High yield dividends and get invited to industry events. Laugh out loud. Good stuff. Keep chilling. <laughs> shilling. Good stuff. Keep shilling. High yield dividends. I don't know what I mean by shilling. Uh, daily uh, bed diem. I don't know what that means. Uh, could always wear your dress blues. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can always wear. No, I wouldn't wear dress blues to that kind of event. That's kind of crazy. Um, all right, posting first. He's talking about we are his customer. Yeah, that's right. That's my theory on it. Jay and Yale Max, if you're out there watching, guess who's your customer is? Us. All of us here. Um, you know, in, in the YouTube space. We're the mass. We're the people that watch buy your uh, funds and talk about your fun. We are your biggest fanboys. Uh, we, we talk about you all the time. We talk we watch all your videos, pretty much all your video, all your interview. And uh, we talk about yield max and not just yield max, but all uh, high yield dividend, including Defiance, including Sevilla. Uh, yeah, so, so us, we're your customer. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know enough about the industry, but however, it, it feel that way, and this cost, the, the customer base, the mass media, the ma not mass media, the mass, the, 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 you know, the average Joe put, you know, $600 million, $800 million into Tesla. It gave you $2 billion worth of investment. So uh, <laughs> I guess it works, right? Yeah, the retail investor, uh, Youngquist, just say Caden Youngquist, right? No one hamburger said, raise your hand if you think anyone in the mainstream media tell the truth about anything. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. His customers are those that are retired, going to retire, dislike their job, and want a replacement income. Yep, that's all of us here. You hit nail on the head. <clears throat> so public said, my guess for yield max customer would be people without the knowledge, time, or capital to trade option themselves. It's also more passive. Even really good option trader can only manage to so many uh, so many trades. Yeah. One thing one thing I learned since I started this journey, uh, yield max and Jay, if you're out there listening, uh, is that this fund is a game changer. It truly is a game changer. Uh, not only it's it's a game changer, but it saved lives, and I talk about that all the time. Because what in the world of investment, there are people out there are very successful and doing really well, and they're making money. And there's people out there just starting out. And there's a lot of people like us who who come from who 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 work at a job. They're making maybe less than thirty thousand dollars a year. Uh, because that's you know thirty to forty thousand dollars a year. That's the average incomes uh, in, in the United States, and these guys making that money, and they work in labor job. They're they're delivering trucks, uh, delivering food, uh, Uber driving. They work on on the street. They're street cleaning. 
Um, they're lifting box at a at a warehouse somewhere. They they, uh, they work at Walmart. Uh, you know, pushing carts. Um, they clean you know parking lots. Uh, they work on a railroad tracks. Police officer on the night shift. Nurses, janitor at the hospitals, substitute teachers. You know all these all these jobs I mentioned. All these jobs I mentioned, they're in our Discord. Every single of those people exists in our Discord right now. All right. And, uh, and, and, and military people like me, I'm, I'm a military guy. And so there's all kinds of type of people and uh, not everybody has a job where they get salary. So if they get injured, they're not going to get paid. They get paid hourly. They get paid as they perform the work. So if they don't go to work, they don't get paid. That's just the way it is. And some of them don't have a 401k plan. They don't have a retirement plan. You know, they don't have anything. But what they have is when they when they were watching YouTube video, they saw my YouTube, and they were like, "Wow, this there's a backup plan. I can I can I can do this. I can I can have a backup plan. Yeah. What we're doing what we're doing is trying to replicate our income. So it's not a lot. We're not asking to make two million dollar, ten million dollar. No, it's just to replicate our income. If you're making thirty thousand dollars, that's all. They're, they're replicating thirty thousand dollars. If you're making sixty thousand, replicating sixty thousand. If you make one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year, you're making. You're trying to replicate one hundred twenty thousand a year. That's all we're trying to do, and 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 how do we do it at the shortest time? We don't want to wait five years, ten years, twenty years. We want to do it at the shortest time. So, so that's why we. That's why when I when I went to this. Uh, investment vehicle and I was like I'm trying to figure out how how can I get a whole community uh, get them out of poverty you know like how do, how do I get how do we make money in a really short time well the best thing to do is go into dividends income investing passive income dividends within the dividend world there's low yield dividends and there's high yield dividends and we're looking at high yield dividends a high yield dividend change Everything change everything. It changed the conversation. Jay and Yield Max and Defiance and Rex Shares and uh, Curves, all those guys, you're changing the conversation live, like real time. You're changing it. And there's people who believe in it. And there's people who don't believe in it. People who believe in it, they're they're throwing it. They're throwing their money in it. People who don't believe in it, they they don't believe in it. Yeah, and it, it doesn't matter what you say; they're just not going to believe in it. They they think yield max is a scam. They think uh, high yield dividends is a failure. It's going to fail. It's going to corrupt. We hear that all the time, and they always say, "Look at nav erosion. Look at capital appreciation. If you put on the underlining, we hear everything. We hear everything. We hear we we take the blunt of all the drama. That I don't know. I don't know. They complain to you." But they complain a lot to me. I don't know why. Of all the YouTubers, they always like to complain to me. The one guy who does not know anything about div investing, and but they like to complain to me. All right. And and so, but what they don't see is this. What they don't see is what I'm sharing with you all. I'm sharing with everybody. Tell that to the guy who clean parking lot in Arizona. Tell that to him. He cleaned parking lots, and that's and he, that's his main job. And then he, he cleaned the toilet at the, at the parking lot, and all he does is go around sweeping parking lot. And then he got another job. He got two jobs, but but guess what? Because he's a good father and a good husband, he's still going to work. And if he ever get injured, his family doesn't get food. His high yield dividend investment. His high yield dividend investment. The income they generate from that is more than his salary at, from both job combined. And I tell the story about the teacher all the time, and uh, you know she, her husband, can't work because he's a disabled vet, and all she wants to do is go on a date with her husband, and they're they're in their seventy, and she wants to spend the net the last remaining time on this planet with her husband, and she wants to go on dates, but she can't. They don't have enough money. His his pension and his his retirement plan could only pay for the house, 
the car and, and gas and the basic stuff, but they don't have enough money to go on dates. So she had to go to work. So she worked as a substitute teacher. Substitute teacher doesn't make a lot. They only make money when they go work as a substitute. If they don't work, they don't, they don't get paid. And uh, so she go to work. And when she found out my YouTube channel, she essentially buy, bought everything that I bought. And she made about $1,000 a month from Tesla, and she was so happy. She told me all the time. You know, now she can spend time with her husband. She don't need to go to work. That's all she need. She don't need any any more, any less. She just need a thousand a month, and she guess what? And she just take that money and and she just cash it out. She don't even put the money back in. Like you know, Jay's always talk about put the money back in, reinvest. No, she's just spending the money. She withdraw the money and she spend it. This investment vehicle literally change people lives, and it's been it's been a powerful powerful vehicle it give people a fighting chance it give people a chance it give gen people a chance to be successful to get out of the situation they're in because if they don't invest if they don't invest when they wake up tomorrow it's going to be the same as yesterday it's going to be the same it's going to be the same pain same problem and they're going to suffer the same same way and that's why they that's why they're in it that's why they're in it they're looking for a way to get out this situation that's why we're in it that's why we buy yield max that's your customer and there's a lot of us there's a lot of us a lot of us buying into high yield dividends and and generating incomes okay they essentially there are two type of people out there and it come down to this Either you believe in high yield dividends or you don't believe in high yield dividends. If you believe in high yield dividends, that that's all the people in our community. But if you don't believe in high yield dividend, it, it doesn't matter what we say because they think it's they think it's bad. They think it's not gonna it's not gonna be good. But I'm gonna make a case for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a case, I'm gonna tell you why we're all in it. All right? So I'm gonna show you my portfolio real quickly. And every time I show people my portfolio, the first thing they see is this red number here and they, and they get an allergic reaction. They're like, oh my God, he's losing a lot of money and it's a failure. This is the market condition. The market condition is that Tesla's down, therefore Tesla is down, that's why I'm down. That's it. If Tesla's up and Tesla's up, guess what? I'm gonna be green because you look at the rest of my portfolio, it's pretty much green, all right? Every time you see one here, that means I open the position. Eventually, I'm gonna get 20 share, 40 share, 100 share, and 500 shares, just like Coney. But if you combine my portfolio together, <clears throat> all of it, I generate about 6, 000, over 6,000 of income. Last month, I generated 6,000 a month of income. <clears throat> 6,000 a month of income. I'm on my way to 7,000. That number is not decreasing, that number is going up. Every month it's going up. I'm on pace right now to get 10,000 by the end of the year. And guess what? I don't have to contribute my money anymore. I stopped putting money, I stopped, I stopped putting my salary money into my portfolio since January. I'm just living off the dividends that I receive. That's what I'm investing back in is the dividends I receive. I don't have to put my own money in anymore. What make, what make high yield dividend different from crypto, from growth, and from all those things is this. If you were to buy, you know, the index, let's say QQQ, great investment vehicle, great opportunity. Back in the day, you want to do that. Back before high yield dividends, that's how I would invest it. I would put all my money into QQQ, all my money into the index, the S&P 500, and grow 15%. And then get you know two three million dollars out of that, and then take that money, sell it four percent when I retire, or I take that money and buy dividends, you know, because now I have two three million dollars worth of portfolio. That's like 10, 20 years from now. Well, there's a couple of problems with that. Number one, I don't have 10, 20 years lifespan. I'm not a 19 year old or 20 year old man. I don't have a majority of us. We don't have that kind of lifespan, right? Number two. We have something called income problem because if we don't go to work, 
we don't have any money to put into our contribution. So you have to you have to have income. So the first question every time somebody asks me about growth and stuff like that, I say, well, where do you get the income to buy QQQ? Where do you get that money? Well, it's coming from your paycheck. From your hard working paycheck. And if your if your baseline average salary is less than forty thousand dollars a year, the average salary in America, guess what? You're not making a lot of money. You're not. You're just not. So that's the problem that I run into. That that's the pro. That's why people don't invest. Because it take a long time to get somewhere. They they, they just take a long time, and people just don't have the patience for it. In the meantime, they have to be a father, they have to be a husband, they have to, to take their kids to the hospital, take their kids to school, they have to buy lunch at, at a $30,000 salary. Plus, they have to put gas money and all that stuff. At a $30,000 salary, and they have to do all those things. So, dividend, and, and, and so investing, buying growth stock, buying crypto, buying all those things, it's a fairy tale for some of them. They just, they just don't have the money to do it. But what happened with high yield dividends, by, by when we go after high yield dividends, the high yield dividend is new. It's a new space. It's not an old space. It's a new space. It's only a year old. And I came in the right time. I came in the perfect time, the best time. Prior to that, there's, there's not high yield. I mean, you have Coca-Cola paid 3%. You got SCHD paid another 3%, 4%. You got Realty Income pay me 8%. Maybe Jeppy paid 12%. But anything over 12%, you're talking about, you're talking about uh, uh, essentially dividend trap. You're, you're essentially, you're running into all kinds of problems. So nobody dare to go over 12%. You're like, 20%, no way. I'm not going there. I'm not going anywhere near there. So what happened is when 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 Yield Max came on scene, I I opened my child swap account. I'm brand new. I'm a military guy. I opened child swap account, kabam, and then I searched I searched for, you know, uh, you know, I didn't even know what an ETF is. I didn't even know what a high yield dividend is. I, you know, I well, I knew what dividend is, but I didn't know there was a high such thing as a high yield dividend. But when I search when I searched my ETF, I saw something called Tesla, and it was during the time it was paying like 99 cents. Like what? What stocks out there paying 99 cents? And that's where my journey started. And that's when it became very beautiful. We're generating cash flow. That's what we're trying to do, generate cash flow. We want to generate cash flow where we don't have to use our money to buy QQQ, buy crypto, to buy whatever. What we're trying to do, the first step we're trying to do is generate cash flow to have a backup plan, to have a insurance to our current job. That's the first plan, is to, to generate cash flow to have insurance to our current job. The second thing is to generate cash flow in the case of emergency. In case of emergency, guess what? I, I don't... I'm going to use this. I'm going to withdraw this money and, sp and and spend it whatever I need. And the third one is to generate wealth. And that's what we're trying to do. Generate option for us to buy something. If I if I able to get $2,000, $3,000 a month from, uh, from Yield Max, guess what? I can take that money and put into... I can buy anything. I can buy QQQ. I can buy crypto. I can buy whatever I want to buy. But I'm using the dividends money to buy it. I'm not using my my check money, my my hard earned money. That's the key point. And I'm growing this fund. I'm growing this fund. Every month I'm putting money into it. Keep growing it. All right, somebody just sent me a message. Let's read that. Anybody in Discord want to jump in and uh, and have join me in the conversation? All right. Um, 
So somebody has an open mic, chaos, K-H-A-O-S. I think you've been warned. Uh, the community just kind of, you, you have an open mic. We, we tell you to uh, close the mic. Can you, can you no. close? Jameer, if you give me the power, I will just shut anybody down who interferes like this. All right. Uh, congratulations, Bill Betts. You just became a moderator. There you go. Yep. Yeah, just just get rid of him. Thank you. Uh, Chaos, hey, appreciate it. But you, you have an open mic, man. You just got to mute. And if you don't mute, then it, it just, it just uh, what do you call Discord etiquette. Uh, it, it just, yeah. All right, Bill Betts. I just I just gave you moderator uh, or lion. Somebody can just remove him, please, or mute him. Hey, retired dividends. Good to see you, all of you. Uh, I'm gonna pause here for a second uh, before I continue on, um, and let me just go back and read some of the text message here that people been posting in chat. Does anybody agree or disagree? Anybody want to jump in? What I just said. Uh, fiscal philosophy, well, let's see, what, he, what is he talking about? Uh, fiscal philosophy, let me, wow, he posts a lot. All right, I got to go all the way to the beginning. All right, uh, Schiller mean promoting something for dubious reason. Well, that's kind of weird. Uh, there's no free lunch in the market. If, if it was easy to replicate income this quick, Warren Buffett would just have put all the Berkshire cash into it. Wow, physical philosophy, you, you're not very smart at all. I, I, I don't even know who this guy is. I, I read two sentences and he's, he doesn't sound very smart. Uh, uh, actually, if it, if it stays sideways, the pre, premium go down because of low volatility. Right, and he doesn't do YM strategy. I don't know what he's talking about there. Uh, Buffett sold put on KO, tons of them. For example, one of his big option play I do that too. It doesn't generate zillion, you know, good underlining, undervalue. Uh, belief doesn't make something work. Wow, I have no idea what's going on. Did, did he get banned? Oh, I was just in the middle of reading. So, all right. Uh, <laughs> well, you gotta let, just let me read it first and then, then ban him. I, I was in the middle of reading it. All right, hey, uh, Fiscal Philosophy. Um, hey, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I, I was just reading your message. I, I even got to the point where you got banned. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, apparently you got banned. So, because your, your message is gone. Uh, well, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. And uh, and take care, man. I, we'll never see each other again. So, good luck with your, with your, with your journey. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people out there that do not like high yield dividends, and I don't know why. Uh, I, I don't know why they can't accept the fact that why don't you do you and we do us? I mean, we it's our portfolio, and why they're so concerned? Why they they feel the need to be a white knight and come and save and rescue us? I never understand for the million years. Go get your own YouTube channel. Matter of fact, there's so many other YouTube channel out there. Go and harass them. Those guys know what they're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a, I never work in this stuff. I just know what I want to do and I'm talking about it, and that's all, <laughs> you know. Hey, uh, go talk to Retired Dividends, man. He loves, uh, you know, he knows more about investment than I do. Go talk to THB, go talk to uh, Unconventional Wealth. They all do exactly like we all buy our year dividend. <laughs> retired Dividend, would you want to take this gentleman? Uh, fiscal philosophy, uh, no thanks. I don't need to debate with you. Uh, I, wh why am I going to debate with you? you? You can win, dude. You can win the debate. Good luck. I, I don't, I don't need to win. You, you, I don't, yeah, you can win the debate. Good luck, man. <laughs> the harassment is real. I blocked so many command impersonators on Discord. It's actually comical at this point. Wow. Wow. I, I didn't realize there's that many, uh, impersonators. Oh, I... Our reason got out of them. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me talk about New York City. Um, so next week, 
sometime sometime next week, uh, I'm gonna be uh, driving. I'm doing a cross country drive. I haven't driven as long in a while. Uh, I was gonna fly to New York because I'm gonna go visit my parents, but since I uh, since I've been invited to this function by Rexshare, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and visit. I got a hotel, and it's within walking distance, so I'm gonna walk there, uh, so I don't have to worry about getting drunk or anything like that. You know, uh, I don't drink, so by the way, so I I mean I drink like during the Super Bowl, I drink at a wedding, uh, I drink on a few places, but I'm not I'm not a, I'm not even a social drinker. But um, but I'm gonna go and socialize and hang out. I, I got I got my suit, and 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 I'm gonna go and check it out. And I don't know anything about investment. Uh, I, I'm hoping to meet other investor. So if you if you are going to this party, looking forward to see you. Looking forward to see all of you. Uh, if not, then I'm gonna make a video of it afterward, and I'm gonna make some video on my journey getting up there. And uh, when I pass through, I'm thinking about. I got I gotta hit Philadelphia. There's a great Cambodian restaurant in Philadelphia on 7th Street. First of all, if you're in Philadelphia, do not go to 7th Street. Unless you grew up in Philadelphia, do not go into 7th Street. It is the ghettoest place in in the world. It's high crime, and this is where a lot of immigrants. I, I'm comfortable there because my family's there, and uh, I got you know I got family grew up there, and so. Uh, if you're not Cambodian, if you're not if you're not Asian, you don't want to go in Seventh Street. <laughs> I took my girl. I took my girl to Seventh Street one time in Philadelphia. That's that. That's what we call it. But there's a whole area of it. Oh my God, she got so scared. She wouldn't come out of the car. She got so scared. I say, like, I say, honey, you got to go to the Cambodian restaurant. Let's go get some food. And she's like, no, no, I'm not coming out of the car. This is this is crazy. I like. There's, there's like people dealing drugs in the middle of the street. I'm like, yeah, that's what that's what living in the ghetto is like. <laughs> oh, retired dividend? You want to? Are you are you in New York City? I. You. I didn't I didn't even know you in New York City. Dude, if you, if if you in New York City, I'm in New York City. I'll swing by. I'll swing by. Uh, say hi. If, I mean, if you're okay, we can meet somewhere. And I, you know, make it easy for you because you have a family. Uh, I, I didn't, know, I didn't know you in New York City. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would love to meet you, uh, man. Me and, Re oh, you're in New Jersey. Okay, you're close by. Yeah, we. Um, are you close to an EV charging station? You know, for Tesla. <laughs> yeah. Wow, uh, we can we can yeah I can swing by I mean if 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 you want to I can swing by and get some cup of coffee we'll love to, we'll do live broadcast right there now I'm traveling on Sunday because it's a Monday event so I'm traveling on Sunday so it, it's uh, I'm I'm driving up you know up north so it's gonna be it's gonna be what I'm leaving like I'm leaving uh, early in the uh, essentially essentially Sunday morning. Oh, I will be away and gone, Miss Rexia Pari. Okay. Well, retiring dividends. Uh, I will. I will. I will take some pictures. I will let you know how it's going. I never been to these pari. I have no idea. I never been to these kind of pari, so I have no idea what's going on. And uh, I, I would love to uh, love to meet. Uh, and I can't say more than this because you know Rexia said you know don't talk about it. Uh, I'll wait until at the end. Uh, but I'm invited to another event, so uh, that's all I can say. And uh, I'm I can't wait to see that event. But I'll definitely make a video on it. That event is a uh, you know it, it's pretty interesting too. So uh, you know it's amazing. You know uh, for those who don't know this, uh, Rexia been in our Discord since August. Uh, oh, oh! He's been in our Discord for a long time now, four or five months now, and he's been anonymous. He's just hanging out in our Discord and just listen to us and just having conversation and just enjoying the atmosphere. And he's and um, now you know, and he's just been anonymous, he's just hanging out, fly in the wall, and just enjoying it. And once in a while, he send me a message and say, "Hey, good, good shows and good conversation," and and that's it. And and you notice, I never once invite him. To come on live shows, I never once recorded, you know, never once, you know, uh, because 
that's not who we are. It's not important. Uh, it's not important at all because what we want to talk about is our portfolio and to advance our portfolio. Yeah, retiring dividends. That's awesome, man. Oh, you know what the event is? Retiring dividends? Oh, wow. That's awesome, man. I, I would love to meet you there, man. Uh, you can critique my sh my uh, my suit. I bought this suit. I don't know if it's going to work out or not, you know. But uh, you can critique it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, wow, you, I didn't know you'd know the event. That's pretty cool. Hey, guys, I apologize. This is not really good YouTubing when I'm monologuing. I'm reading from the chat, and there's no dialogue. There's no conversation. And uh, so I, and I apologize for that. But unfortunately, we, we are here. We are. Um, does anybody want to jump in and have a conversation? Uh, are you shocked that Rex Shears... How many of you in our Discord was aware that Rex Shears been hanging out on Discord for a while now? Anybody in Discord want to say... Col Colby, uh, let me ask a newer member. Colby, are, are you tracking that by any chance? Do you know that? Uh, yeah, I I remember you mentioning it um, in previous live streams. Um, again, I don't know who he is. Uh, yeah. I know, I mean, I know who he is. I don't know what who he is in Discord. Um, yeah. But yeah, I I've heard uh, quite a few times that um, him and um, I think you said Jay is in here as well um, under an anonymous name. So, no, not Jay. I, I Oh Jay's not? No. Oh uh, yeah, I, I knew I knew the, the rec share guy is here anonymous. Um Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah, they've been they've been hanging out on Discord for a while and they, they listen to our conversation in in they jump in and, and just and uh it's it's great. You know, it's just good to I thought it's I thought it was very smart uh to get into the grassroots of things. Uh, also, I'm not intrusive. You know, I, I never once ask him to come on on live. I say, hey, do you want to? Can I make a video on this? You know, can can we talk about this? I never ask him any question. Uh, you know, uh, so I just I just I just like, hey, just come in, fly on the wall, enjoy the atmosphere. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, you know, there's other Discord community. There's other people you can hang out. Uh, we're not the only one. Uh, and and I always welcome them all to come hang out. And it's great to see. At the grassroots level, like who is who is actually buying your fund? Who's actually buying FEPI? F E P I, you know. And uh, yeah, yeah. The good thing about it is that uh, you can get uh, feedback yeah. uh, from uh, the fellow investors. You know about uh, all the funds, and uh, he can get um, everything directly from us from the retail investors yeah and being with us listen to us and maybe listen to other needs maybe investment needs maybe they can innovate and create new vehicles you know new investment funds mm -hmm. perhaps to maybe help to to do something more innovative and and also what I want to say, there's a lot of competition in this space. As you can see, there are so many options now available. Yep. So they're doing great job to kind of, you know, commingle with the retail investors in order to get feedback and to kind of to be competitive. Makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, so I think this is a good stuff. I think my opinion, Kamer. Oh, I, I agree with you, Lion. Uh, you know, especially mainstream media doesn't help them either. Like I was, like I challenged everyone at the beginning of the video. Have you seen a, a, a media, mainstream media, like, you know, Bloomberg, you know, uh, you know, Fox Business News, MSNBS News, all those, all those uh, finance channel uh, that talk positive about high yield dividends, especially uh, yield max. Uh, I haven't seen it. Uh, every time I watch them, it's always like, who the heck are these guys? Why are they the expert? Why are they talking trash about yield max? I don't understand. And that's my reaction. It's always been my reaction. They always, there's always people out there talking trash about yield max. It just, it just, it break my heart uh, that, that, you know, these so-called experts, you know, instead of doing, you know, logical analysis, 
but yet they want to trash him. Lion, do you want to? Did you have you seen anything like that, or you, you know what? I'm yeah, saying? you're right. I think that the media, I mean, they are focusing on the regular traditional investments, and they are not uh, kind of opening the door doors to something different. I don't know the reason why. Uh, for example, those media like CNBC, why they don't call them for interview? I mean, there was one time I remember they yeah. called Sylvia for interview. Yeah. I think this was only one time. I haven't seen anybody else uh, invited for interviews. Yeah. Right. So I'm I wondering why. I mean, this is this is a this is an investment vehicle, right? This is investment funds, which offered and approved by SEC is traded in the stock exchange. Why don't they simply interview the fund managers? Yeah. So people get exposure and understand what what it is, you know. But that was something I was wondering about. It looks like probably because I'm just thinking out loud, maybe because the hedge funds, you know, they're doing them themselves. They're doing this using the same tactics with the option income trading, and then they see this maybe as a competition. Mm -hmm. That's what I think, and they don't want to give them the stage or uh, a voice in the st in the main media. They they want to get the whole share of these financial, uh, you know, funds. Yeah. And uh, so get the money from other investors, including the retail institutions. So think about what if, because you asked earlier the question about the retail. I mean, who is invested in these funds? And we indicated that probably and most likely they're only the retail investors. Why? Because institutions do this themselves. They don't need fund to do this for, for them. Yeah. They're using the same tactics. Option trading, synthetics, cover call, spread, credit spread, credit debit spread, all that stuff. They, they already they have the expertise to do this themselves. Yeah. Right? But this... This type of vehicle that is offered to the retail investors, that opened the floodgate, you know, for every one of us to be able to do the same and, and gain and uh, increase our wealth in a certain way. Yeah. The same way they do. A Adam, do you so want to jump in? You, I mean, you, makes, makes sense, have... right? Yeah, thanks. Sorry about that. I, I um... Anyway, yeah, that, that, that was, uh, first of all, Lion made a great point about with um, the folks being here or whatever listening to us uh, that, you know, maybe uh, some of us could come up with some good ideas for new, you know, new funds for them to create. Uh, I thought that was a great idea, Lion. Ho hopefully they'll listen if so. Um, next, um, one of my thoughts is, uh, you know, the reason why uh, I like the way you, you said it and agree, Camille. CNBS <laughs> and the others, T to me, they're not mainstream media anymore. Uh, YouTube is people like you and people who are, you know, on the grounds doing doing every everyday work. Uh, you know, we're we're all mainstream media now, and and they're just you know fluff. Uh, but I think the the real reason is is that I think Weston just typed it also on on your YouTube um, chat that they're too small. But I was thinking that they don't invest or they don't buy advertisements with CNBS and Yahoo Finance and, and the rest. So until they do, they're not gonna, you know, the MS mainstream media is not gonna talk about them. And it's the same thing with Tesla. You know, Tesla doesn't buy ads, so they hate on Tesla. And so all these high yield dividends, they're not big enough yet to buy ads. So they're going to hate on him. Yeah, I think. You, you brought a good point on 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 how uh, advertising marketing work. I don't know anything about it because I'm not in that field. And I, I watch a YouTube channel for Doug Monroe. For those who Doug Monroe is an engineer who used to work for Ford, and all his YouTube channel he break he essentially stripped the car apart and he analyzed it from an engineering perspective. So if you into automobile and stuff, that Doug Monroe is an awesome. Uh, is it Duck Monroe? I forgot the name. No, yeah, well, yeah, it is Monroe. Uh, I forgot his first name, but yeah, he's. It's not Doug. Doug is the Doug is the, the the reviewer. That's a different guy. 
Yeah, yeah, Doug. Yeah, he 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 has his own channel, Doug. I think he sold that though. But anyway, yeah, no, Mon Monroe. Um, I forgot his first name, but yeah, it's he does Sandy. an amazing job. It's Sandy. Yeah, Sandy, Sandy Monroe. Yeah, Sandy Monroe. That's it. Uh, Doug is two different people. Doug is a reviewer. Monroe is the engineer. So Monroe was right. talking about this. He said, you know, one of the questions is like, what's wrong with Tesla? Why the why the why everybody's going after Tesla? You know, like you know, like the car and stuff like that. And he literally explained everything. And I can't believe it's on a car channel, not on a finance channel. Tesla does not advertise. Right. And and he said he said why why don't they talk bad about Ford, General Motor, all because all these dealership advertise at the local business, uh, all these car dealership. That's why you never see these local news trash any of these car company because they advertise in all these local medias. And but Tesla doesn't advertise at the national level or even at the local level, so they don't advertise right. at all. So therefore, they just get in blunt of all the you know the you know. <laughs> it's interesting. I you know when he's when he explained that how automobile advertisement work, that's kind of click on for me. Like man, maybe maybe Tesla need to. Uh, do they need to? I don't know. Uh, maybe just make peace. Oh, they, yeah, they they haven't because you know word of mouth is how they've done so well. Yeah. But they are finally starting. Um, meet Kevin on YouTube. Uh, he was at one of the quarterlies about two quarters ago, and when when they asked questions from the, the audience, yeah. he stepped up and he asked them, "Hey, you know, how about advertising?" So they have been doing like some Google ads and some little yeah. things, but nothing major yet. Is this the same Meet Kevin that I made a video of somebody who made a video of him that he uh, short he short uh, Tesla. Uh, he he did short Tesla about a uh, two weeks ago, and yeah. everybody thought he was still short, but he, he didn't. Um, he, I'll so tell he you, did he did that shit from he, clickbait. <laughs> he maybe, but I'll tell you, that guy is a brilliant guy. I absolutely love watching his channel. Okay, he he you know he is self taught about you know the U.S. economy, the yeah. history of the U.S. economy, and I watch every time Powell's on or any important news, he goes live and he helps explain. You know what they're saying and why oh. and what it means. He's a brilliant guy. I love him. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, I, I I never I never seen a single show of Meet Kevin. The, the only reason yeah, I, I know about Meet Kevin is there's another YouTube video, another YouTube guy who's criticizing Meet Kevin because this guy was pumping Tesla and all of a sudden now he's shorting Tesla. Like what the heck? Well, that that's because this guy uh, he's probably a small channel and <laughs> he gets uh, 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 you know clicks. If he puts Meet Kevin on there, oh. um, yeah, I'll tell you, Meet Kevin is a really good guy. Uh, I'll, I've learned so much from him over the last few years. Yeah, I swear by that guy. L like you with high yield dividends, you're my guy, and he's my guy for you Come know. Come on, now, now you're smoking. <laughs> now, now, now you're smoking. No crap. way, you, you how, know how me. How am I, I? How how am I your guy on high yield dividend? Come on, man. Like I like I've said about fifty times, I was. Thumbing through my YouTube yeah. dashboard one day, and all of a sudden your your channel popped up, and I remain loyal to you that you you popped up, you opened me to this, and you you, you might recall um uh, this this month I in April I should be doing fourteen thousand a month, and it's all because of you. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when I when I have an episode that say uh, yield max save lives. <laughs> you, 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 you're that, you're, you're that group. So, uh, are you, are you in the working class, or you're, the, you're making a lot of money? No, I'm, I'm working class. I, so if you recall, I presented that spreadsheet about a month ago, where I was explaining the five thousand a month dividends. And, yeah. You know, you know, I can't remember everybody. I apologize. You're I'm, not gonna, yeah, you, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. Once I keep coming on enough, we'll, we'll be buddies. But I'm joking. But yeah. Um, no, yeah. So in fact, I actually updated that quite a bit. I haven't put it on Google Sheets yet, but uh, I've done quite a bit on it on the uh, uh, Excel. Mm -hmm. So uh, once I get on Google Sheets, uh, if you're okay, I'll I'll, uh, I'll try to get on for 15 minutes sometime and go through it again. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're the dancer and, that that we gonna meet up in Miami. Yeah, yeah salsa dancer. And yeah. also, um, I know you're coming to New York. I, yeah. I'm considering going, but I, I do. If you drew a line between. Providence and Boston, yeah. um, right on that line, right where the Mass Rhode Island border is. So, uh, you know, when you're up you know, this way, if, so my I grew up in Boston. I'm on my right. way to Boston. New York is Correct. just a stop. I'm on my way to Boston, right. but I'm really not on my way to Boston. I'm on my way to meet my parents. Correct. But because of my my parents is in Boston. 
because they're doctors in Boston and all that stuff. So they just, they, they, they spend some time with my sister uh, and, and they're in Boston. That's why I'm driving this. So I'm meeting my sister and my parents. But unfortunately, yeah. because I'm stopping in New York City, my parents going back home. So depending on the window, if my parents are going to stay in Boston for that whole week, guess what? I'm going, I'm going to Boston. I'm not going, I'm not going to New York. And so if, if, uh, if my parents go back to New York, then of course I will go to New York. Then I'm not heading toward, it's going to split yeah. up from New York City. I'm going to split up depending which, where my parents are going to be. I'm uh, the reason I'm going up there is to see my mom, to see my m mom and dad. Uh, yeah. and my sister, you know, she's, she's going to be around for a long time. So I, I, I can see her some other time, but yeah. Well, if you do end up coming up and you have some spare time, my wife and I would love to, uh, uh, by by you know take meet you for a drink real quick or something. If you oh yeah, hey, I, I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold you on to that. I'm serious, okay. absolutely. Okay, That's maybe awesome. we'll take you to a salsa club. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you could teach me salsa. How about that? There is. We'll, yeah. we'll be happy to. Dude, man, you know, do you know, I, I, you know, uh, you'll come back. Your wife will, will whack you for not learning it sooner. Well, no, you gotta, you gotta, I gotta, I gotta take her with me. So when you and I, when, oh, when we meet, I gotta, all four of us, you gotta yes. teach her and me and uh, absolutely. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm in, I'm in. Uh, Dan Watson oh. made a good point here. Um, I, Dan Watson is getting very popular on my uh, channel. He's, I see him all the time now. I, uh, Dan, it's nice to meet you. Uh, I don't know who you are, but it's nice to meet you. And uh, he he made a really good point. Kevin Short Tesla, he betrayed the cause. I don't know who Kevin is. I've never seen his channel. Uh, but, of course, Adam is a huge fan of Kevin. So you can be a fan. And But but here's the thing that uh, I agree with Dan on this one is uh, I'm not a big fan of people who, who, who doesn't believe what they believe in. You know, like if you... Uh, now that's not, that may not be true. Dan and I, you you may be you may be wrong in this, and I may be wrong, and of course Adam could say you're we're both wrong, and um, but uh, yeah, I if if we are high yield dividends investor and we talk about high yield dividends, and all of a sudden next week I'm start crapping on uh, high yield dividends, man, you guys need to unsubscribe me and just leave, and and just don't even watch any of my channel because it's crazy. Why would I? Why would I do that? You know, um, you know. So you, you shouldn't do that. There's there's a lot of people do that. There's a lot of YouTuber like that. I I watched a YouTube one time. His channel literally said dividend something, right? Dividend something. I don't want to. I don't want to give the name of the channel. And I'm watching like I'm watching him since since the beginning. I pretty much seen all his video, and all of a sudden when Tesla was doing this reverse split thing, he just went. He just went kapoop on it. Matter of fact, it was it was so bad that Panda made a video about that. He made a video about that. It was just crazy uh, about how he changed his mind. The other one is Panda made a video on uh, I forgot her name, but ET. He called her ETF Bobby. It was the same thing. He was like, she was all about buy high, buy dividend, buy this, buy Chappy, buy that. All of a sudden, she said she said pooping on high yield dividends. We're like, what? Why, why, why do people do that? I don't understand. Why do people do that? Uh, of course, I'm new to YouTube, and it, it makes sense now. A lot of times, people do that for clickbaits and stuff like that, yep. and so they get Clicks, attention. Clicks. Yep. Now, me, me, Kevin, he's he's still long Tesla. He's been long Tesla. He loves Tesla. He's been yeah. long. It's just, you know, here and there, he'll make some, you know, short plays for some, you know, some quick hits, but he, he, he loves Tesla. Yeah. Well, I don't blame him. I didn't. I, I didn't. I don't know anything about short play. But but hey, if you, making money is making money, that's like a T-shirt in Miami. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. <laughs> Have you seen that? No, but did, did you see F FW post there? Come here. Uh, post your salsa lesson so the growth investors criticize you. <laughs> Where post your salsa lesson so the growth investors criticize you? <laughs> that's funny. Oh yes, yes. Oh man. I, I, I want to learn how to dance. If, if one thing before I pass, before I die, I'm definitely going to learn salsa dancing. I'm, I'm All right, so we're, we'll, we'll teach you that a little bachata too. And then you have to look when you get back, back home. Yeah. Or before you can go, uh, find a studio near your house. I'm sure there are plenty over there. Yeah. And when you get back, you too take lessons. It's the best thing ever. Um, I, I've made so many amazing friends. Yeah. Great, great people. And then wherever you go, like I, you know, when I was single, 
when I used to travel, um, I you know to Austin a lot, stuff like that. When yeah. I go to Austin, I would um, you know go to a local salsa club and just dance and make new friends there. It, it's amazing. Highly recommend it. All right, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow, wow. We, we may meet up in Boston here. So you yeah. and uh, and uh, and Colonel Matrix. I got to meet Colonel Matrix. Uh, oh, I, there you I, go. I, I owe him a, a whiskey. Uh, uh, hibiki, hibiki whiskey. We got to drink Hibiki whiskey together somehow. <laughs> yeah. Have you have you Is been in downtown to... Boston? Because I'm in I'm in Boston, you know, Boston, Boston. Have you No, I, I that's easy to get up there, but no, like, like I said, I'm I'm in um if like I said, if you drew a line from Boston to Providence, right on the Mass Rhode Island border. All right. Well I uh, swing I by because it's I ninety five. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I'm going up north, I will definitely when I'm in New York City and I'll you know, we're talking about two weeks from now in my, in my parents' yeah. medical situation or the doctor said let's say she stick around for a week. I will yeah. I will send you a message and say hey I'm heading to Boston and then we'll we'll meet up uh, we'll meet up okay that's awesome man I'm I'm looking forward that, to do that that'll be perfect also uh, real quick um, yeah. I I just listened to you at first today yeah. on um, on on Twitter and and everything sounded great oh oh thanks I appreciate it yeah for those who don't know this I'm multicast multi uh, broadcast now so I'm broadcast in in Twitter and uh, so you know Elon talk about citizens. Uh, Citizen news, uh, you know, citizen providing, you know, the new. I think Adam, you talk about that about you know we are the mainstream media now. And yeah, hey, I agree. There, there you go. That's There's true. me doing mainstream media at <laughs> on, on Twitter on not Twitter or X, uh, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so I'm broadcast. Uh, wow, this uh, our chat just got really busy here. Let me see, read real quickly here. Um, uh, Jordan Carson, uh, so the term mode came from uh, comments Warren Buffett made during a shareholder meeting. Morningstar ran with the concept and create mode rating for stocks. I have no idea what he's talking about. So uh, Dan Watson, uh, what else in existing can you retire off 100000 a lottery ticket? What? Warren Buffett is living in 1887. He's way past his prime. He can't even use a phone. Wow, Jordan, Jordan, <laughs> Jordan is not a Warren Buffett. Hey, at least you get his name right. I got his name. I keep calling him Warren Betty. So, uh, <laughs> uh, but I did take the time to watch Warren Buffett video. I saw a couple of video with him and Charlie Monka uh, interview. Uh, it was a pretty awesome video. You know, uh, it was like a two-hour session and talking about everything. You know, talking about just investment in general. Uh, you know, I. Uh, it's very interesting. Rough Rough bought additional fifty thousand of Tesla today. Wow, you know Rough Rough. Uh, I like Tesla, but you you know we have a lot of options now. You don't have to buy Tesla. When I start this investment journey, all we have is Tesla. It's Tesla and Clip. If you want to buy high yield dividend, your choice is either Tesla, Clip, or OLK. That was it. But then during the summertime, NVIDIA came out, M MZ came out, and then Microsoft came out. Uh, I didn't jump into it, and that's my that's my mistake. It's still my biggest mistake uh, in the high-yield dividend space. And then and then during, the, during the August, somewhere around August or October, then Connie came out, and uh, I didn't jump in that either. So that's another big mistake. So those are two mistakes I made, you know, not jumping NVD and jumping to Connie. Uh, but... But there's so many there's so many choice now um, that you don't have to buy uh, you don't have to buy Tesla you can literally buy anything out there now uh, and it, yeah all right so uh, hey we're gonna talk about portfolio review did did you guys send that portfolio in if you haven't sent in your portfolio go ahead and post in the portfolio section. And I'm gonna review. I'm gonna look at it. We're, we're all gonna look at it together, and we're gonna talk about it. All okay. right. Uh, in Discord, hey, welcome. All right, portfolio. The very first portfolio review is by A4, A A B4, A B4. Are you in Discord? You're not in Discord. All right, we're gonna show his portfolio anyway. So this is AB4 portfolio. 
he has $27,000 in his uh, Weeble. So every time you see Weeble, uh, most a lot of foreigners own uh, Weeble. Matter of fact, a lot of immigrants own Weeble. So if you don't have a green card, uh, if you if you come to this country, if you're a dreamer, and I don't I don't care how you get to the United States, but you're in the United States, but you want to make some money, Weeble. I what I I I don't know. I don't have a Weeble account. This is what I was told. And Weeble, uh, essentially, you can create an account when Weeble. And you, you don't have to provide your social security number, which is essentially a uh, pathway to your citizenship. They don't have a, they don't have a social security. Uh, so you can be an illegal alien in the United States, but you can own a Weibo account and you can buy all these funds. So uh, that's pretty cool. I like Weibo for that reason. Uh, so it gives people opportunity. Okay? All right, so he owned Tesla. Uh, he owned how many shares? He owned 2,000 shares of Tesla. This, you know, this fund, this this portfolio looked like, is this, is this, uh, is this Mike? Because it reminds me, you know, 2,000 shares. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this portfolio. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is the janitor I'm talking about. Whenever I talk about the janitor, uh, Mike, is this your portfolio? Because it looked like your portfolio, because you have 2,000 share of Tesla, and you have one share of Tesla, you have one share of Marathon, and I don't know what GNW is, but you have two shares. But essentially, you own 2,000 share of Tesla. So uh, let's see how much money he's making a month. Uh, 2,000 share time 81 cents. So he's making $1,620. That's pretty good money, man. That's good money. You know, uh, every month you get one thousand six hundred twenty dollars, uh, over, over one thousand five hundred. That's essentially a paycheck uh, for a lot of people. A lot of people paycheck. So, well, congratulations. So, my next question is, what do you do with that money? It looked like you. It looked like you put the money back into it because you're not buying anything else. Or did you spend the money? That's what I'm just curious. Are you spending the money or you put the money back in? All right. Uh, your cost average is high, 1574. Oh, no, your cost average is like my 2389. So, uh, yeah, it's up to you how what you do with the money, man. But that's awesome, 1600 Good for you. All right. One of the questions somebody asked me, Michael, do you invest in companies also if you... If you do, uh, if you don't, then why not? Uh, I don't have my portfolio open right now. I have to disable everything to open it. I do invest in company. The biggest company I invest is Tesla. Uh, I, I believe in Tesla. When I start off my investment journey, I own Coca-Cola, I own SCHD, I own Realty Income, I own Alteria Group. I own all the REIT, pretty much all the REIT at one point. Uh, let's see what other company. Um, I own... Uh, CV, uh, CVS, I own uh, AT&T, Ford. Let me, let me show you what I own. I can tell you what I own. This, this is what I own over the year. And what happened is I just consolidate the money and I, I just show you what I own. My portfolio, where's my portfolio? At one point I own all these guys, okay? Uh, Let's see, uh, company-wise. Uh, I don't own Bitcoin. That's just on my watch list. I own it. Uh, I don't own NB, NBOSS. Uh, LES, I don't own that. Um, I don't own... I, I haven't... I, I'm, I'm going to buy BYDD. I'm just not own it yet. I'm going to buy Zoomy. Zoomy. I don't own it yet. Uh, let me see. I'm just trying to find something I own right now. All right. Ke uh, Han Ketchup, okay? Uh, the Verizon, the uh, GIS is the serial company, Coca-Cola, uh, Vici Property, CRT, those are REIT, Realty Income, those are REIT. I own all that. Okay. Um, UAN, these are the, uh, they're the nitrogen company. They make for, for farming. So I own, I own AGNC, Apple, Hospital, REIT. Uh, here's uh, here's AT&T. 
um, you know, CLM. I used to own CLM, COF. I own Fought. At one point, I owned all these companies. Uh, I used to own a, a lot of the. I even owned S Vault at one point. Of course, I own Rivian now. But what I did is I just consolidated everything because I just throw all. I put all my money in income. I sold all that. I just rebalanced. And then I just put all my money in income. So the plan is, um, the plan was to own all that and just grow it. But then what happened is like, you know, um, I'm just going to go in all in income. And once I get $10,000 a month, then I'm more at peace. My goal, my, my, my first goal was to get 5,000 my first year, 10,000 on my second year, and maybe 15,000 to 20,000 on my third year. That's it. Once I get to ten thousand dollar, I'm I'm consider myself safe. What I need to get is thirteen thousand because I need to take three thousand off for tax, and ten thousand is my spending money. Why ten thousand? Because that's how much I'm getting right now in my salary. So that's why I need, my goal is to get ten thousand. And I'm not going to get to ten thousand if I'm owning Nokia, I'm owning you know AT and T, UAN. It's just slowing me down. And uh, so that's why I just sold all of that, uh, and then I just bought. I just put it all into, I don't know what I bought, you know, because I, I transferred it all into income fund. So between QQY, Coney, and, and Clip, and Tesla, um, you know, those are, my, those are my core funds. So I put all those money into those funds. And that, that's what I did. I hope that answered your question. Yeah, I, I love CVS. Not only I own CVS, but I own their new, the newest, the Splinter, uh, so Splinter CVS Cove. Uh, I forgot the name of the company. I, I think it's Cove. Uh, oh shoot, K K U. It it's like it's 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 a it's a it's it's CVS spinoff. So it's they sell uh, you know Tylenol and stuff like that. I've got, I just blank out. I actually own that for a while. And uh, that was going to be my, my bread and butter for a while too. But then I, I sold it out. Okay. I hope that answered some question on that. So let's go back to his portfolio. Uh, so uh, AB4, if you're out there, this is a good portfolio. Keep growing, man. You remind me of the Walmart guy. The guy who worked at Walmart, he, um, he has 2,000. I don't know how many shares of Tesla yet. He just, all he bought is Tesla. He worked at Walmart. And all he bought is Tesla. It's over a year now. He started in the summer of last year. So he started somewhere when I came back from, from London. So he, he just started buying, you know, I saw him the other day and he, he's still buying Tesla. That's all he bought is Tesla. I don't know how much Walmart employee get paid, but he just buy Tesla. He just keep, he just keep throwing it. Eventually, he's going to make enough money in Tesla where it's actually more money than his Walmart job. So, so good kudo on him. Kudo. All right. So that's that's Tessie. Don, are you there? All right. We're going to look at Don's portfolio sure. here. Yeah, I'm in. All right, Don. I can barely <laughs> see. Uh, yeah, you, you need to open in browser because, you know, it's kind of... Yeah. It's the I, record there. It's, it's kind of sucks for sharing all right but if you open it in the browser it's it's better it's a little bit better yep i just did it scroll. all right so this is this is don portfolio first of all don has uh fifty three thousand dollars in his portfolio this looked like it came from uh is it e-trade or or robin hood no 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 that's just from the check check it uh, dividend tracking website. Oh, dividend tracker. Okay. Uh, it look, it, no, it has... no, it's it's called it's trackmydividends.com. dot com. Okay. Yeah. It's it's just I, I have I have dividend tracker, but uh, you know my free trial is off. Don't feel like paying. Yeah. Or or you know, being cheap. Yeah, cheap I use that. I use dividend tracker too. I use this uh, I use this company here. But it's uh, it's free. I use the free version, not the paid version, and uh, I like the free yeah. version. Yeah, but it limits your holding when you. Yeah, like yeah. It, uh... I can only put ten. That's why. That's why you see me. That's why I only put the top ten here. Yeah. So so track your dividend. Not scam. I'm not doing any advertising here. I hope. But yeah, it's it's free for you know. You can put as 
many profiles as you want, I think. Yeah. I put up a few and, and it's free. So it, it doesn't limit you in any way. So that's cool. They have a few premium features, but the, the you know, the basic one is showing the upcoming dividend and yeah. what have you. That's, that's free. So you know, just come, the, the, it just looks... It's not. It doesn't look as nice as the uh, dividend chapters. Yeah. So you got fifty-three thousand dollars in your portfolio. You make an in annual income of eleven thousand. So roughly about a thousand a month. C congratulations. That's pretty good money, man. Yeah. yeah, I've been doing a lot of movements. Yeah. I've, I've, I've decided. I, I went in to one hundred percent ETFs. I just won. Essentially, what I did in the last last days, actually, I, I just decided, you know, I had a few, um, I had a, f a few dividend aristocrat, yeah, aristocrat uh, stocks, somewhere dividend kings, I think. Uh, I had Kim Kimberly Clark yeah. and the uh, MMM and others, and I figured, yeah, okay, let's grow on on this one. So, you know, use the yield max stocks to generate a little bit of the yield. And put that back on dividend aristocrats. I mean, you know. Well, your biggest uh, holding, order. your biggest holding is REIT or R I E T. This is an ETF that focus on REIT. I believe this is iShare. That's why uh, is REIT iShare. I'm pretty sure it's iShare. No, 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 no. no. So this is Hoya Capital. This oh, is Hoya. this is R. This is yeah. I was confused. It's confusing. This the the the, the known one is R E I T, the one you're referring to. Yeah. This is R I I E T. Oh, oh, yeah, it's the wrong not... one. Oh, hey. mm, yeah, it's very it's very similar. So oh, right. I, I I actually I actually got this ETF by mistake. <laughs> a typo mistake. Um, you bought five hundred share by mistake. You make any no. income, dude? Absol dude, come Absolutely on! Absolutely not. No, 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 no. I said I, 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 I discovered uh, the infinite. I'm, I'm not buying anything by mistake. All good. Okay. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin that joke. But no, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, but, but no. think about this, no. dude. You, you, yeah. your biggest holding, your biggest holding, all right, is this company. You have 500 shares. It's well, not a company. It's Actually, not a company. It's an ETF. Uh, e ETF, ETF. That, that's what I'm gonna say. I'm sorry. This this ETF, you have 500 share. Well, the most mm -hmm. quantity share of holding in terms of dollar amount, it's not the biggest, but in terms of quantity, 500 shares of this ETF, and it generate you, <clears throat> generate you literally. I'm gonna show it now. Eight cents every month. Come on, man. You get a dollar right. total. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why so good? Why so good? Yes. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. First of all, if you know, if you're gonna look at the big picture here, you will see the the actual yield here, yeah. considering its you know its price, which is you know it's very cheap. Yeah. Uh, considering what what the cash amount is, uh, you get a pretty high dividend yield. You, you get nine point nine, uh, nine point ninety percent dividend yield. That, yeah. That's that's good. Not so bad. You know, if you look at stock analysis, you'll see nine point nine nine percent dividend yield. Yeah, I think I think that that's good. Also, since it's price the way it is priced at ten thirty six currently per stock, I can you know I can drip on it. I can I can buy a lot of stock just from investing. Uh, it's it's easy to reinvest. So I feel I feel I get more from for my from what I for what I put in. That's how I feel anyway, and it's well diversified. It holds, it holds, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, it's ten dollar price. Let's look at uh, some price nearby, right? Let's look at OLK for example. OLK is thirteen dollar, and it's paying forty six cents. But it, that, that's a different. It's a different. Okay, okay. So let me let me do a. Um, so. What I'm trying to do here is to kind of split my portfolio into like more of a long-term funds that I want to invest in that I they they hold the underlying um, stock mm -hmm. uh, or as much as as much underlying you know values as possible. For example, uh, this this 
that's it, EDF, a REIT. If you look at the holdings, you see, I mean, you have so many REITs in there. You have so much diversification. Yeah. I feel re really safe in just, you know, putting it on drip and just, you know, forget about it because it, it, it's so diversified. Where are this, all these companies going to go? <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I mean, of course, you know, I, REITs can have go you, up and, and have down. You look at, have you looked at CLM? I mean, it's $7, but at least it pay you 10 cents. Cornerstone, yeah, the almighty cornerstone. Yeah, that's an SP. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so cornerstone tracks the uh, the, the underlying the the uh, uh, personally, I just didn't like the uh, so cor for, for first of all, cornerstone is not uh, it, it's it's like a how you call that, uh. CEF fund, right? It is as a, like a yeah, there's two of them. CEF and uh, they're, they're closed end funds. Closed end funds. Yeah, they're so, not open fund. None of this. There's only limited number of shares sell to the public. Yes, yes, yes. So first of all, so you have to get a little bit more knowledgeable about these funds. For so I, I've been doing some research and uh, currently I'm using interactive brokers. Yeah. For the reason that I'm an international investor, it works better for me. Mm -hmm. I don't get the option to to drip on the to invest on the on the nav yeah. of this fund. And I, from what I understand, that, that's the whole point of it. Like, if you're not investing the nav, you're just potentially losing money on the because uh, the because the fund is not really it's, it's not uh, if you look at the. <laughs> The value it keeps going down, but if you drip on the nav, from my understanding, it's a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm not too familiar with that. So I'm not, you know, I'm not being accurate here with everything. But uh, uh, my understanding is, if you don't have a way to reinvest on on the nav, then you're not really, you know, maximizing what you can get from this fund. Yeah. Um, I do have. However, I have my eye on another fund like that uh, for the future, which is also like a CEF uh, uh, sorry, CF fund, yeah. which is the Gebelli fund for multimedia, the, the GGT, ticker GGT. Are you familiar with that one? No. Yeah, it's good. It's, you know, it's, it's not here. It's well diverse. No, no, I'm just, you know, that's for the future. I'm just, you All know, right. as far as Cornerstone, I'm just, I'm, I'm talking about, about similar vehicles that I'm planning to. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not giving you any advice or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, right. I'm just talking, we're just talking here. At, at the end of the day, it's yeah. your portfolio. You don't, 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 don't take it as I'm trying to critique you one way or the other. No, no, I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I'm actually looking for advice. So it's all good. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I just, right, so I, you so know, I, to me, I, I just don't see the point of putting, you know, your biggest number of shares into a fund that give you very little return when there's so many other good ones out there. Like S Vault give you pretty good money. Uh, you know, that's none yield max, that none. Even XYLD, QYLD, you know, all those guys give you better yield. Uh, matter of fact, uh, you know. So, okay, so what I'm doing, I'm not looking just at yield. I'm, I'm not like picking, picking. Uh, ETF just out of consideration of yield. I'm also okay. I'm also considering diversification. So I want you know I want so uh, well, what I had before is I had I had a separate REITs. I had uh, triple N, uh, N and N, right? Yep. And I had and I had O for a little while, and I felt like you know I, I felt. Like you know, I, I saw. I, I thought to myself, hey, just I, I just want to put all you know. I just want to get all the reads as, as as much as I can, and just I, okay. I like I like this sector. I just don't want to sit around and predict where each one is gonna go and which you know which read is 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 good right now. Which is the Simon Properties, or should I put them you know more money into O or what? That means just I just want to find a fund if where. If you like read, how come you don't own O or Vici Property or so? I I do. I, I mean I don't I don't own it directly. So I am coming from that. So I'm coming from 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 own. So no. So always not in in R I E T. But uh, but pretty much all 
uh, NNN is under RET, and uh, you know, so you okay. have a lot of. If you're gonna look at RET, you just, uh, I just, I just, I just want to get a piece of, it, of okay. all of them. Uh, that makes sense. That get makes yield. Sense. All right. I just don't want to follow just one, you know, because, for example, oh, you know, recently I saw people, so many people complain how how much how how because there was so so there's such a big hype on on realty income uh, yeah. on social media, you know. And people just, you know, think that I saw a lot of people just, it, it just also me, you know, when you are exposed to all the the hype around, oh, the people are just so crazy about it. So that, you know, you just, it, it, you know, for someone just getting into it, people are just thinking, yeah, okay, I'll just put in, it's safe, you know, I'll put in whatever I have, whatever savings I have, let's, let's put it in, you know, or, you know, people are just going crazy with all. And recently it, it went down, the, went down. Uh, not sure by how much, but yeah, it, it, you know, not sure it's, if it's a near its dip, but for the 52 weeks, but uh, surely went down a little bit. And, you know, I see people on, you know, Reddit or different forums saying, hey, well, am, I, am I stupid putting on my mind? Oh, you know, people are wondering, right, why maybe I did a mistake, <laughs> things like that, you know, because Obviously, if you put a lot of money on a single stock and you see it going down, and yeah, you're seeing about you the loss of value, and you get scared. You, you get you know as a someone starting out, yeah. you don't look at it as as someone who is you know familiar with dividend investing. You don't think of the opportunity that you have to buy more. You know, at first people are scared um, because you know it's it's the companies they're not going to go away so quick. So you know. It, it's it's it, if if the stock goes down then yeah that's an opportunity to buy but again people are scared especially at first when they're looking for something stable that will you know uh keep making money for them so anyway what i'm saying is um i think diversific for me i think diversification is the is the better way to go i want to be in read i just want to be being it you know sector from the you know just follow pretty much uh you know as much as stocks as i can in the sector and just uh that that what that's what the rit are that's the long version of why i'm in re IT. Your, your biggest <laughs> okay. your your the yeah. most profitable for you is essentially jep jep y which i uh i am a huge fan of too i like defiance uh mm -hmm. you have 1600 your second biggest one is QQY, which I'm a huge fan, which I own a lot too, uh, 1,500. Mm -hmm. And then your third one, essentially, I'm going back here to Connie. Uh, I must have missed something. Yeah, Connie. So Connie is your biggest, which I own a lot too. Connie is giving you the most money, even though it's only 50 shares, yes. uh, because you probably get at least 100, almost $100 out of that, you know. Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, because the, yeah, volatility. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a pretty That's good fund. It's a very like. balanced fund because you have you pretty much have all the things I have: AIYY, AMDY, which very good, MZ, very good, Connie. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar on DOGG, uh, Facebook. I'm very familiar with Fenny. Uh, I'm I'm not familiar with Fenny at all. Uh, I mean, I've seen Fenny, but I I um, I've seen Fenny in my research, but I. You're the first one I've seen own Fenny. Feppy is very good. Mm -hmm. I love Feppy, F-E-P-I, that's Rec Share. Uh, I'm not familiar with High End, that's uh, Wisdom Tree. And then IYK, I like K. not really familiar yeah, yeah. with that uh, so much. At all. Matter of fact, I don't know anything about it. I don't want to say familiar. I'm not, I don't know any of these guys. Jep Y, mm -hmm. Clip, I'm a huge fan of Clip. I like Clip because I, I like international. I, you know, China doesn't scare me. And uh, so you got 110 share, that's not bad. That's pretty brave. A lot of people won't even buy clip. Yeah. NVD, NVD, man, you got it for 29, good deal. Uh, NVDY, NVDY. Yeah, that's what I mean, NVD, NVDY. Uh, QQY, NVD, NVD, yeah. what a great price, man. You got it for 1661, or, um, 1637, that's a great price, man. Uh, I my, my is still, still high. Of course, we just talked about REIT, uh, Spy Eye, which is very good. Y Max is very good. These two are very, very good. Uh, interesting that you yeah. bought the Round Hill one and you got forty share. That's very interesting. You bought that. 
Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it, it haven't even started to distribute. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm all for it. Weekly is, yeah, I, I wanna, yeah, I wanna get on it as quick as I can. Makes sense for me. I think there's a lot, there's enough money in the Nasdaq to distribute weekly. Yeah, I, I believe in that. I believe in the underlying. Yeah. I think technology makes a lot of money, and it's gonna be a good. Good. Uh, coming from you know working in you know this world, I can say it. I believe in that. I believe in the technology growth. I believe in the AI and everything. It, there's gonna be enough enough money to distribute uh, weekly from the Nasdaq for sure. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong I'm with diversification, man. Um, there's yeah. nothing wrong with all. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm getting to a point when when I get my ten thousand, my portfolio is going to be very mm -hmm. diversified uh, because I'm going to start spread load. I, I got to get to ten thousand first, so I got to do everything I can to get to ten thousand. Once I reach ten thousand, when I go to my twenty thousand, it's going to be a very diversified portfolio um, because generating right now. Let me just show you. Uh, I wish I log in. Um, I get I get three thousand dollars from Tesla. I don't need to get three thousand dollars from one single fund anymore. What I do is I get I get three thousand dollars from three different funds. So a thousand for QQY, a thousand from IWNY, a thousand from Spy T to make up the three thousand uh, dollar. That is that's the way I'm gonna do it going forward. Now when I first start out, it only works when you first start out because when you first start out, you. If diversification doesn't help you, and that's that's that was my problem when I first started out. If you diversify too much, you're not getting the most bang for the buck. So what I did is I just went I just went 98% Tesla. I just went all in on Tesla. I got the most money as possible. Once I get the money I need, once I have the money, then I start div I start buying other stuff. So I I I put all my money in to get Tesla. I finally got three thousand dollars of Tesla, and then I put money into Clip. And then I get I built Clip to a thousand. I put money in QQY, built to a thousand. But that's how I grow it, just by because if you di if you diversify too much, you're only getting essentially. Think about this: you're getting twenty one percent yield. Where I, when when I was when I was in Tesla at that time, I was getting seventy percent yield. 70 to 90 percent yield you know so there's a huge different you, you see what i'm talking about yeah absolutely uh it's all about for me i i i see what you're saying i but i definitely also want to have as much yield as possible however being new to the investing i do i do feel you know i still feel a little bit I don't want to say scared, but I, f I still feel that I need to be a little bit on a safer side. Yeah, I, I thought. Why... Yeah, I'm not disagreeing with that. You you do what you need to do mm -hmm. to to make you to make you feel comfortable so you can sleep well at night. Yeah. When I first start off, I, I thought the same thing. I'm like, man, if I nickel and dime this thing, I never gonna get. I mean, at 21 percent, uh, 10. I during the time, think about. It, I own Coca Cola and SHD. They pay three percent. So my my yield was even lower. My yield was like twelve percent, and I was like, yeah. I was like, you know what? Tesla is giving me seventy percent yield, and then everything else gave mm -hmm. me like eight percent to twelve percent. You know what? Screw this. Screw it. I'm just gonna go all in on Tesla, and, and that's what I did. And it's one of the best decisions I made because, in a in, in a, a year later, I able to generate so much income. Now I don't have to go all in on Tesla. Now I'm more diversified. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. That, that's cool. I mean, uh, I hope I'll get to the point where I feel, you know, safe enough. You, to put... you can. You don't have to change. You don't have to change. I, I'm just telling you that's what I did. You don't have to change. But what I'm saying is that eventually, mm -hmm. it take time. It take time. You know. So put it this way: at the end of the year, you're gonna get twelve thousand dollars built in this portfolio. This portfolio is on its way to be uh, five, seven, seventy-five thousand, seventy-five thousand dollar account, which is my portfolio. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a good goal. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but the difference is my 70,000 portfolio is making $6,000 a month and your yeah. 70,000 is not making 6,000 a month. Mm -hmm. That that's a big difference. Yeah. But uh you know, at, at this point I just feel I'm going to all my ass a little bit uh not so strong. Yeah. When when the market market will fall. <laughs> that's how I feel. Yep. Yeah, keep throwing money in there, yeah. man. Keep 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 investing. Keep keep fighting. Yeah. All right. Well, I just want I, I just want to show you show you uh, one one thing that mm -hmm. I want to oh, just yeah go ahead and uh one point of if you look at the so some of my funds here don't generate as much yield compared of course to like you know anything yield max does yeah however if you will look at the prices for the stocks mm -hmm. You will see that I'll, I'm keeping it low. I'm keeping it very low for each fund. So that's why you see you see funds. You're saying you, you haven't saw before, for like Fanny, for example. Mm -hmm. You see, it's twenty five dollars. If you look at Fanny, you know, at stock analysis or wherever you like, you see it's basically the same as uh, XLE. I'm sure you're familiar with XLE, mm -hmm. which is the uh, uh, you know, it's basically holding, you know, Chevron, Axon. Uh, we have, so this is the, so Fanny has $1.7 billion holdings. Um, and it's making, uh, yeah, uh, the dividend yield is low. However, considering the price is low, I can drip on it more easily. Then I would, for example, buy what I had before is XLE, which currently is priced at, I think, 90, 92 dollars. Okay. Yeah. So what I did, what I did, I just, I, so initially I had XLE for because I said, okay, that's, you know, a safe fund for all the energy stuff. But Fanny is essentially the same. It also holds all the energy, uh, you know, all the big companies with, uh, yeah. uh, that uh, they, they have energy, and it though, but the price is twenty five forty, and it has a you know so I can so maybe the dividend yield is low, but I can still, you know, I can buy more shares from it using I don't know money from what I'm getting from uh, yield max or from the fund itself, and just you know just keep growing this one, which is safer. I uh, you know it gives me. Let's say for the future, if I will need, uh, I want to go into more of a margin investing, uh, yeah. ex lower maintenance fees. Uh, as as long as the price, my point is, some of my funds are not uh, what I call safe funds. They don't uh, generate as much yield as the the uh, you know yield yield max ones. However, I keep it low as far as the the, the stock price. All right. So that that enables me, well, me to keep reinvesting. Yeah. Let's let's give the uh, community a chance to comment on your portfolio. Uh, can right. you all see uh, his portfolio? Would love to get your comments on it. Uh, beside me commenting on it, what's 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 your what's your all take on his portfolio? Uh, you know, would you do something different? You think he's too safe? You think he's too low on something? Too high on something? Uh, oh, he buy a lot of unknown. Does anybody have any comments on it? I, I know there's lag, so we got to give him a chance because there's lag. Yeah, yeah I'm going to mute. <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks, Kamir, by the way. Thanks for the for the tips. Yeah. And the exposure, of course. Yeah. Okay, so Daily Bad Lamb say safe AF uh, don't change. I can't read the AF part, but uh, it, it's safe and he said don't change. He said if it make him sleep well at night, it's perfect. Can you sleep well at night? I sleep, I sleep better at night. Since, <laughs> since I have a dividend portfolio, I sleep a lot better, for sure. <laughs> I like his portfolio, especially if he's in his 30s. 
Yep. He's going to high yield and, uh, and growth, balancing his portfolio. Yeah, so what I like about his portfolio is there's a lot of us are really into high yield dividends. They, that's all they buy. And then there's, there's, there's a lot of us that buy uh, high yield, low yield. And then some of us have, you know, 60% crypto uh, and then and then 40%, you know, high yield dividends. And there's people, a mixture, you know, depending on who they are. What I like about his portfolio is pretty balanced. Uh, this is a very ETF. It's balanced only in the ETF world. He doesn't have any other stocks or anything like that, but he's very balanced. Uh, it's a very balanced portfolio. Now, the price of balancing is you're paying 21% yield. That's it. You, that's all you're earning is 21% yield. You're not earning 50% or 60, 70% like my portfolio. So that's a big difference. But it's very balanced. Um, this way, he he literally can sleep well at night. He can relax knowing that there's not he's not down like I am down like thirty thousand uh, dollars. The odd of his portfolio down that much is very low, because like for example, and he he DCA well too. Like I I don't DCA well, so that's why I see red and everywhere. Uh, so yeah, his portfolio is very balanced. That's 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 my take on it. Does anybody has a disagreement on that? All right. Yeah, this is an yeah, awesome. Definitely, yeah. I'm scared. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I would say a scarecrow. I'm a, it's a, I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken. <laughs> I'm a chicken. You know. You say that. Chicken for fun. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm scared. You know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm going. You know, I'm walking between drops. You know, I'm not trying well, not to. Well, uh, are you fall, are you all? Do you have a retirement no, in your country? Uh, yeah, we have, but I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm actually. Actually, you know, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say this. Um, there is in my. I don't know if maybe not so near future, but let's say hopefully within the next uh, something five years, there there could be. A change, a major change in my life as far as you know, uh, relocation, self relocation situation. Mm -hmm. You know, moving kind of countries. You know, and you know, you know all about that. Yep. And as an as an immigrant, you know, one of the things you need when you are relocating is money. Yep. Uh, and the money that doesn't depend on, you know, labor because you know you're you're new where you're going you maybe labor is not the best option you have to to have money yeah uh, there you go you're getting a thousand income thousand dollar at least you get you the minimum you get is a thousand so <laughs> the worst case scenario you can live off that for now you know um, and plus yeah. it yeah. the way you bought it it they pay you got the first week pay you got the fourth week pay you got the second week pay you even get the third week pay so you got all your week pay covered every week you get paid that's the plan that's the plan just uh, just to have uh, something that will keep me uh, you know on yeah. my feet and i'm gonna need that and that's gonna be current income and we're gonna do you know just just not be worried about money uh when i wake up in the morning for you know for the rest of my life you know and i i do want to retire early uh but in a let's say somewhere that has a lower cost of living depending on that somewhere around asia uh, -huh. uh yeah, that's the goal here <laughs> yeah oh, oh, oh wait you you move into asia you move into thailand uh currently planning on philippines philippines, philippines. whoa philippines. all right well so that's need, gonna you be need, you need at least three thousand dollars a month my friend yeah. Well, one thousand for your girl. <laughs> In the what you say? This is the 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 minimum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need this is this is this is only for you to get maybe get the apartment, uh, but then you you gotta you gotta pay for your lifestyle. All right, you're doing yes, great, you man. Wanna... You're doing great. Hey, dude, I'm taking 10,000 to Cambodia, so. Yep. Uh, it's right. a, oh. Yeah, the inflation doesn't, the, the, the it doesn't, uh, 
at go of anyone. It goes uh, the prices go up anywhere in the yeah. world right now. So yeah, you have to you have to not only create a profile that generates money, you have to create the profile that grows. Yeah. The dividend has to grow as well. So that's also that's also something to, to think about. Make so, sure you have stocks that grow their dividends. That's also what I'm doing. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Don. I thank you so much, man. And uh, I'll, yeah. I'll, we'll talk Thanks some more. Thanks, everyone, for coming. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome yeah. job, Don. Yes. Kono Matrix. Um, so two weeks from now, uh, next at the end of the month, on Sunday, I'm driving up. I'm leaving. I'm leaving like Saturday night, actually. Uh, I'm driving up to New York. I got a I got an event with Rexshare, and then my parents in Boston. So I'm gonna go to Boston. But the thing is, uh, because my initial plan is fly into Boston to spend some time with my my, my my mom, but my mom in Boston only to visit my sister, and then she's at the uh, medical. So so unfortunately, she's gonna leave Boston. So I don't know when she's gonna leave Boston. So when I hit New York, if she's on the way back to back home in New York, then then I'm not going to Boston. But if I hit New York and she's in Boston, let's meet up and drink some uh, some uh, hi, uh, some hibiki. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. All right, all right. I got I got you and Adam on a on a on a on a journey. So I'm coming up to I-95. And uh, and so I'm gonna be in New York. I obviously, if you don't hear anything from me, uh, that means I'm I'm on my way to New York. I'm just I'm 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 gonna be in New York City for the Rexshare event, and then I'm gonna go to New York to my parents. But if you if I'm going to Boston, I'm telling you I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you up and and we can meet up. What city? Since I'm coming up to I-95, uh, and and you work all the time, it's probably easier for me to meet you somewhere what would be a big city that you can meet uh outside uh, well i mean i'm south of boston so for the most part you know any anything outside of boston is good because then i don't have to deal with the traffic getting in there yeah I mean, if that works for you. oh okay we can just because park, parking is a nightmare in the city you yeah know yeah that. no no we don't need to go in the city because i'm going to the city but you don't need i'm coming up i'm coming up to i-95 so uh, oh yeah. Are you close by Tewksbury and all that stuff, or by Foxborough? No, 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 no. I, no, I'm south of Boston, not north. No, Foxborough. Oh, Foxborough. Yeah, I mean Foxborough is like a forty minute ride for me. Oh, that's nothing. Okay, well, I, I didn't. I, I have no idea. All right. Yeah, that, that Foxborough is not a big deal. You know what? Foxborough is actually a really good place. That uh, Patriot place. Yeah. There's a lot of places there. That's actually where we should meet. Because it's a good. There's a lot of options. Okay, but I I never been to the new Foxborough. When I was there, it was the Sullivan Stadium. You know, back in the you know when it was. It's uh, e yeah. It's it's easy. It's very easy. Okay. Maybe. We yeah. Once you get up three five, it's it's Route One South, and you yeah. literally follow it, and you'll keep seeing signs for Patriot Place, and yeah. um, yeah, it's really easy. It's super easy. Okay. All right. Uh, I will let you know. I will let you know when I'm in New York, and then and see, see what's going on with my parents. And then if my parents go to New York, obviously I'm gonna take a. I'm not gonna go up the I-95. I'm gonna go on a different route, the you know Route 40, going up the up straight to uh, to Albany. And uh, but but if you if obviously if they stay in Boston, I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can convince them to stay in Boston for that week, and then I drive to Boston. Now I can meet my sister and my parents at the same time, and uh, but you know I, I'm this is just a target opportunity, so that's why. Yeah. Awesome man, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward. We're gonna drink some hibiki, man. I, I, well. I'll bring you Habiki. That's my gift. How about that? First of all, that drink is very expensive, man. I don't know yeah. if I can give you a gift. I just realized that. Never mind. I'm not buying you a gift. That's like a four hundred dollar drink. <laughs> Even than that, but no, I don't need a gift. <laughs> well, I I don't, I don't know how much. You, uh, well, you know, depend what city you in. Depend, you know. I think I think you probably can get a hundred dollar to. I don't know how much it costs because when I bought it last time uh, as a gift, it was like almost two hundred something for a little small bottle. 
Oh, the bottle I bought was like 80 bucks. Oh, really? Yeah. You, you probably didn't buy the right brand. You sure it was Hibiki? Yeah, I'll actually send you, I'll post a picture later on when I get home. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's cheap. Where do you get that from? Some drug dealer, Joe, from the con uh, around the corner? Believe it or not, I ordered it online, but then you know what? I actually found a place down the street from one of the places that I work. They, yeah. they must have like three or four flavors of it. Right Flavor? there, so I can actually, I actually know a place where I can get it. Flavor Hibiki? What? No, no, no. They have like three or four, three or four kinds. Oh. Like I, I call them flavors. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's like three or four different brands of Hibiki. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, Orion said Hibiki Hamani is around 100. Wow, I, I feel we got Rob in Miami. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> You're in Miami. <laughs> Why am I paying like almost three, four hundred dollars for that damn thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, some good news, man. Good news. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good news too. But I don't want to share it in the public. I mean, you know, because I got, you know, I got, I got a girl now. I gotta, I gotta, you know, take care of her too. You know, so uh, and uh, and so a lot of good things happen. You know, I'll tell you, a lot of uh, three couple of years, three years ago, before COVID, uh, I told I told the Marine Corps that I'm retiring, and they're like. I'm done. I'm not gonna work. I'm gonna. I'm gonna peace out. And the Marine Corps was so blessed. I, they, I man, I'm. I'm so blessed. They're like, we're gonna have a ceremonial for you. We're gonna have all kind of event, and uh, life is gonna be great. And during the time, I mean, it was just. I mean, I, I don't. I don't have any. I don't have any baggage. You know, it's just me. You know, <laughs> like. <laughs> of course, COVID came in, hit hit me, and then. Uh, rental property just went kapoop and life situation change, uh, family situation change and girl situation change. And next thing you know, now, now there's two people, you know, now, now there's a whole family that I got to take care of, you know? And, uh, yeah, so I'm still working, you know, like, uh, I, and, but at least I'm smart enough to know that, Hey man, I, I I probably can squeeze three years out of this thing and and I'm punch out. I'm already finished one year, so I got two more years, because I, once I take off my uniform, I'm done. So I, man, I'm 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 looking at, yeah. That's my whole life. My whole life changed dramatically in in the last, you know, the last three four years. So it's it's just been crazy, um, and I'm I probably end up moving again and and you know and that's all I can say. I, I'm two years from now, I, I may just leave the country, you know, so that's, that's, that's how dramatic it's going to be, you know, uh, and, uh, yeah, so that's why it's so important for me to have this financial situations straightened out and fixed pretty quickly. And, um, yeah, it's a big change. Yeah. Lots of big changes. Yeah. Uh, so Michael Anthony, yeah, I'm still, I'm still a Marine. Yeah, I'm still. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I'm still working. I mean, you can see it. I, I literally come from work. I mean, I'm wearing my, uh, my camis. Uh, this is, so if you take the, if I take off my jacket, I put on my cami, that is my camouflage. So yeah, I'm still working. Uh, and if you watch any of the uh, push-up video with uh, me and uh, Retired Dividend, you see I'm in, in my camis. Yeah, so I'm still working. It sucks, but uh, but and eventually I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna pee peace out, you know, and then uh, and then I'm gonna stop working. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the goal is not to work anymore. I, I, I didn't want to leave I didn't want to leave uh, the military and then go work in an office somewhere in a Pentagon somewhere and uh, and that's you know as a, a civilian contract I didn't want to do that I, I just want to I want to be done and that's it. how many hours a day you're working what that doesn't make sense. I work full time, man. What are you talking about? 
All right. Um, yeah, this is great. It's nine o'clock. Uh, let me let me play the closing music here. And uh, uh, so happy, man. Yeah. Uh... All right, everyone, uh, that's my closing music. It's nine o'clock. Um, I got to get ready. And uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, Friday, got to do some yut yut training. And uh, and and then during the weekend yeah michael anthony that's a very weird question to ask like i feel like you're trolling me <laughs> like it's a weird question i'm not working for walmart man uh so i'm, I'm not working at mcdonald's it's not like it's nine to five what the heck? Oh, I, I, I don't. I think he's trolling me. Is he trolling me? Alright. Alright, so that's my theme music. Hey, I want everybody to say thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. And, um, and, and thank you for all those who's an ex watching the show from X. Uh, next week, I'm going to broadcast in Twitch, Facebook. Uh, so this Sunday, I'm going to set it up. This Sunday, I'm going to broadcast Twitch, Facebook, X, and YouTube. Uh, I used to do this back in the day when I was doing uh, you know, video game. And I missed that. It was, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed multicast because you got different, different audience. Different audience have different personality. I know a man still in the army and work about six hours a day. Yeah, I, yeah, Greg. He, I don't think he has any military background. He doesn't understand how the military works. And uh, yeah, no big deal, no big deal. And uh, yep, and depending on duty station, depending on. I, but I, I'm just glad I'm not on a ship and deployed somewhere. So. All right, hey, uh, no, I appreciate it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you all for watching. And if, uh, come hang out with us with Discord and ask questions. And I really enjoy this. I, I'm really happy. And I'll see you guys all around. Hey, thank you. Peace out. I'm shutting down. Take care, everyone.